Okay, so we've been doing um, bow and arrow chokes in gi class and Mike showed us his cool variation of uh, no gi bow and arrow choke. Go ahead, Mike. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna be here from mount. We're gonna have uh, you know, good, uh, good heavy pressure on Charles. We're gonna get in there. Sometimes you have to go across, cross hand, get into the fingers, get their hand down. You're gonna take the same side arm. You're gonna have your shoulder straight above your hand so there's good heavy pressure on his wrist. What commonly happens, and this is at all belt levels, they'll go and grab the wrist. So as soon as he goes and grabs the wrist, I'm going to collapse on his arm, okay, to trap it in there. Then we're gonna go with our opposite hand, grab a no thumb grip, come in, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna to go to a modified mount. So my knee is gonna come in behind his head, and I'm gonna bring this hand up and trap it with my arm, or my leg, sorry. Okay, so we're here, we're gonna sit back. As I sit back, I'm gonna reach for his leg. The back leg is gonna go on top, not on the bottom. If it goes on the bottom, it's not gonna work. We're going on top, and it's not like a leg press, it's a leg extension, and then you get the tap. So that's no D, bow and arrow choke. Sweet, wanna go through it one more time, nice and quick? One more time, from mount, we're here, boom. I'm gonna reach across, get the hand down. They're gonna reach, go to a modified mount, no thumb grip, bring this arm in, trap it with your leg. As you sit back, reach for the leg, back foot goes on top, extend. Nice.